Hi everybody, my name is Caden. I'm Jaden. I'm Nicole. I'm Eli. And I'm Jason. And we're the Who in the Torah YouTube channel. We are so glad you can join us today in learning the Torah with us. And we Eli has nothing to say. <laughs> we just did radio silence. We were trying to get this our stick going, but we were unable to. So Eli, how are you, buddy? Good. Would you lean, lean forward, everybody? I will lean uh -huh. back. You all lean forward. As right. always, we are running the Torah series. We're finding the commands. We're finding... We're basically writing our own list of commands. We're basically being good stewards of the Torah and finding out what we what we should be following, what we can still keep today, and what is uh, important to us, what we should be following. As our Messiah has said, if you love me, keep my commands. And that's what we're doing. We're keeping them. We're writing them on our hearts. We're studying them, and we are, we're sharing them with you guys. So we appreciate, appreciate you guys as a family sharing this with us as we are all learning this together. Yeah. Eli, how you doing, buddy? Good. What's going on? Um, we're going over the Torah. We're going over the Torah. A little, a little quiet over there. Nicole, how you doing? Good. Jade? I'm doing good. Yeah, everyone good? To my left is Caden. To my straight ahead is Jaden. To the diagonal is Nicole. And to my right is Eli. And this is our Yah, Yah radio show. And this is uh, AM 77.7. .7, and this is the Boss Man. And you're sitting in with me. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Now let's get to it. Anyone have anything good? Anything else? Uh, today's morning? preparation day. Today's preparation it's day. The day we prepare for the Shabbat. Today, you should do all your cooking. And if you've never done Shabbat before, today's a great day to get all your cooking done, all your work done, so you can rest tomorrow and do the best you can at following the commands. Yes, preparation day. Speaking of that, how did your guys' lesson go yesterday? I think it went pretty well. It felt, it felt pretty good. It was pretty good? Yeah, pretty good. I listened to a little bit. It sounded like you're kind of screaming through the rain. Yeah. yeah. It, I don't know if we're being too loud or not in the rain when it's uh, pouring down, so it's a little bit of a... At least you can hear can us. Can you hear us? Yeah, kind of well, I, it's probably more like leaning in closer. No, we were really well, close. We were really close. Really close. I was, it was, still, it was literally right next to the tablet. It just kept raining harder and harder and harder, so I'm glad you guys made it through that, and um, hopefully... Um, Hopefully the people are blessed. Hopefully you guys are getting through it. Um, you guys what did Proverbs what yesterday? Fifteen. Fifteen, 15. weeks. And that's the that's a chapter you guys have almost written. Have you guys written this? Yeah. I think yeah, at yeah, some yeah. point you We've guys written have written a few written, times. You have written this. And what is what is the basis of this? Uh, we're causing strife and not fighting amongst people. Saying nice things. And saying nice things, right? And so we we don't uh, tremendously have a big boatload of sins, but we do absolutely sin. A lot of that is. Um, you know, we're, we're quick to wrath, we're slow to listen, and we are very fast to speak. And so those are bad qualities um, sometimes, especially as aggressive and crazy as it gets around here. I, would, I don't know if it gets crazier than other houses do, but we have a lot of, it's life or death stuff that is going on every single day. And literally, we could end up dead. So if somebody um, doesn't listen to the dogs or we don't catch a fight or something of the sort, that could just basically turn into a tremendously bad day for all of us. So as a preparation day, Eli, what, what is your jobs? What are you going to be doing today? Um, well, probably clean up cow houses, do, cutting grass for the cows, maybe cooking meals, cleaning things. Nicole, what, what do you got planned on the list for everybody? Lots of busy work. Lots of busy work. What, what, what are you making for everybody? <laughs> Muffins. Muffins. Refrigerated overnight oats. Uh-huh. What, um, what are overnight refrigerated overnight oats? What so is that exactly? I put chia seeds, uh -huh. oats, uh -huh. milk, and like a dried fruit with a little bit of sweetener. And you, no sweetener for me, of course, but, um, and so what do you do? You put that in a little jar and you stick it in the fridge? Put it in a jar, mix it around, stick it in the fridge overnight, and it thickens up kind of like a little pudding. That's pretty good. And it's an overnight oats. All right, what else you got? What else you got going for these guys? Muffins. Muffins. That's going to keep everyone alive. Everyone loves the muffins here. Anyone? Can I get three cheers for muffins? Yay! Yay! All right, I knew it. Yeah, <laughs> they love the muffins. Um, that's an easy meal for uh, Shabbat. Um, you can definitely create the muffins today and pop those in, and they're all ready to rock and roll. Not the healthiest thing in the world, um, but they'll probably do well. Um, anything else? Salsa, green salad. That's what you're making today. Yes. Salsa and green salad, and, and then chicken salad for sandwiches. Yep. And there's, you know, there's probably a reason that I am uh, heavy because my wife is a tremendously good cook, and she's been a very good cook for a very long time. And I've been with this woman for like what 25 years. And um, so she uh, she cooked one way for me for many, many years. And then all of a sudden it destroyed me because I am a glutton for sugar and a glutton for all this stuff. And so my diet is different than all these other guys. What do you have planned for me? You get your chia cereal uh -huh. and almond saltine crackers. Almond, almond flour is what has kept me alive. Thank the, the father for these kind of foods. 
All right. Anything else? Anyone else have anything out there? Uh, no, it's basically a pre preparation. They don't work. Get everything that needs to be done tomorrow, today, so that you don't have to work tomorrow. Yeah, sunset to sunset is when the time with our Creator begins, and it is His time. It is His day. It has been set before creation was ever uh, built. There was a Shabbat, and so I guess the Shimaim and all the angels and everybody have been observing this since the beginning of time. Who works on the Shabbat? The priests. The priests work. Who else works on the Shabbat? Pagans. Pagans, besides the pagans. The messengers, I assume. Messengers, probably. Who else works? Um, Yahuwah. Yah works. How do we know he works? Um, because he's like... Who else works? Uh, Yahushua? Yahushua worked. How do we know that Yah worked? Uh, well, he rests on the seventh day. Um, because Yahushua told us. He says, my father works as well. He's like, uh, he actually told the Pharisees when he was doing this that... Um, not the other thing. Hey, real quickly before we get in here. I, 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 I thought of this the other day and I wanted to ask you guys. And I'm, you can only answer one character of the Bible when you do it. And it cannot be the same character. So I want to ask this to you, and I know that I know the answer that you guys will give, the very first person who can answer this, um, but I want everybody to say, say we have 30 days, you have 30 days, and you have to be a warrior. You have 30 days to be trained by anybody in the Bible, anybody at all, and you only have 30 days. Who in the Bible would you like to be trained by? Okay, you can only, you guys can only have one guy. So if you if you, and, and you want me to break it down right now, I'll just say everybody. I know who, you're gonna go who is? Is it Son Judah? No. No, I go Esau. Really? Yeah. I mean, he's not a holy dude, but he was a war dude. He was a dude, man of war. So you'd be trained by Esau. All right, go ahead, Jade. I have like three. It's either David, Samson, or um, Judah. Those da are my three as well. David is who I would say. David is who I would choose to train me. If, if there was, if I had 30 days and I needed a swordsman and I need somebody with an arrows and things, I would definitely have David. Probably David. Take. I mean, he's he's the man of war, right? He's literally the man of war. He lived his entire life warring. Eli, who, who do you have? I probably Judah. Judah. Yes, man. Or I think so. Joshua. I think Joshua. Joshua. Yeah, yeah, Joshua would have been good. Um, possibly even Moshe. I mean, Moses. Um, he he took over a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, he he would know how to do certain things like that. But yeah. So Nicole, anyone? I was thinking Naphtali because he could sneak up on the people because he, he's real fast. Because he was fast. Super super fast. <laughs> so Nicole wants to get in and out and then beat him up. And uh, okay, so that's it. I, I just thought that was interesting. All right, guys, let's get into this lesson today. And I will break out my handy dandy split screen as we um, continue with no dead air. And um, looking over at me. <laughs> you're looking over at you. Yeah, I'm looking at my wingman there to, to see if I can get anyone who has anything. All right, so we are in Leviticus 24. The NIV says olive oil and bread set before the uh, Lord, which is that's the wrong. Before that, Yahuwah. Yeah, it should be Yahuwah. The lowercase Lord right there means actually Baal. Um, so it needs to be in verse one, it does have the right thing, but how they did it at the top is, is incorrect. All right. Now this is, um, this, I read this a little bit today and we need to, we need to be, um, steadfast in finding the commands that are for us in our time that we can do. Right. Um, and I know that we, you know, one of the commands that we have is burn the witches and, um, if we went and decided to go on that endeavor right now, we'd all end up in prison. Um, there's too many, number one, there's too many witches. There's way too many witches. I mean, you'd have to burn off half of Babylon right now um, to, to kill the witches. And, you know, we, that just wouldn't be something we could do. But we did add that law in there because it is, it is a way that we're supposed to be holy, right? You're supposed to look down on the witches, right? And look up on those necromancers and all those people like that. Um, so this is, this is one of these that we'll, we'll get into. All right, 24. And Yahuwah has spoken to Moshe, saying, Command the children of Yashrael that they bring unto you pure olive oil beaten for the light to cause the lamps to burn continually. Without the veil of the testimony in the tabernacle of the assembly shall Aaron order it from the evening until the morning before Yahuwah continually. It shall be a statute forever in your generations. Okay, mine doesn't say without. Mine says outside of the veil. Right. And so that is one of those translation things. The king also says without the, the veil. But it means not in the veil, right? Yeah, outside of so the veil. We're, um, and so outside of it, what, what does it say to do here? That he is to basically... Is this 24-7? 
He says it is con to burn it continually. Yeah, so, so there is... I would think there would be several people sitting there running the lamps, running the lights always going on. Yeah, so. that's, that's one of the jobs of somebody in that. And I mean, can you imagine being a youth and being selected to do the lights or to do the oil and stuff like that? I mean, that would just be... It would be crazy. And you know that the, the big priests probably all started off like... Oh, uh, you're gonna cling the blood of the altar. Somebody's gotta cling the blood of the altar. And I was like, oh work no, your, work your way to the yeah, top. Yeah, work your way to the very top. And those guys would have been sanctified in that. So, all right. He shall order the lamps upon the pure menorah before Yahuwah continually, and you shall take fine flour and bake twelve cakes thereof. Two tenth deals shall be in one cake. Okay, we got twelve cakes. Why do we have twelve cakes? One for each tribe. Yeah. What? Yeah. Absolutely. Yep, and uh, and you shall set them in two rows, six on a row, upon the pure tablet before Yahuwah. Table, not tablet, table, for Yahuwah. And you shall put pure frankincense upon each row, that it may be on the bread for a memorial, even an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. So is this every single day? Is this, what What do we have? How often do you, are we taking this bread and it's sticking it It's said there? before Yahuwah continually. So I would imagine it's fresh bread. I don't think we would... Um, Sit down too long to mold. Yeah, let it mold on Yod's table or anything of the sort. That would just yeah, be well, it says disrespectful. For, <laughs> yeah, uh, it says for six oh. days. Six days, okay. Um, oh, no, my bad. It says uh, you should put them two in a row for six days in a clean table. Right. Six uh, rows. Six, mm -hmm. two, two rows, right? There's two rows of six each, right? Is that what mm -hmm. we're saying? All right. All and right. Down below we get some days and things. All right. And you shall put pure frankincense upon each row that it may be on the bread for memorial. I think I read that. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'd like to read things again. Even an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. Every Shabbat he shall set it in order before Yahuwah continually being taken from the children of Yashrael by an everlasting covenant. And it shall be Aaron's and his sons and they shall eat it in the holy place, for it is most holy unto him of the offerings of Yahuwah made by fire by a perpetual state. All right, so there's David's bread right there. That is the bread David and his men ate. So they ended up with 12 loaves of bread and uh, <laughs> okay. probably had some frankincense on it. So I, hopefully that frankincense just tastes all right. But I guess it did because these guys ate it. So I don't know. Maybe uh, we need to stick some frankincense uh, essential oils on some food or something. Nicole? Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Kids, try it first. You can try to drop on each should kid's we, tongue. Should we be eating this? It was like meant for the Levites. Uh, frankincense. Is, we're not putting it on bread. We're not replicating it. But you guys could definitely have a drop on your tongue and see what it does to you. Hmm. That'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if it's bitter. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm just kidding. All right. And the son of Yashrai El Lith. Okay. So we're into something else, right? And this is called the blasphemer put to death. Now, this is where we got to dial these commands in. And there's a lot of blasphemers against Yah. Like, they will continually swear it up in movies. Like, I mean, it's just that they use his name as a swear word. Um, okay. And the son of Yashraelith woman, whose father was a Mitri, went out among the children of Yashrael. And this son of the Yashraelith woman and a man of Yashrael strove together in the camp. And their Yashraelith woman's son blasphemed the name of Yahuwah and cursed. And they brought him unto Moshe. And his mother's name was Shilomith, and the daughter of Div Divri of the tribe of Dan. Okay, so what does your guy say? Just say cursed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So does it say is that is that swearing, or are we cursing Yah? I ain't cursed Yah. Okay, I, I think that's probably right. Is there a command not to curse? Uh, down the line there is. Like to swear. Uh, it said don't swear by the name of Yahuwah falsely. I don't think. So what I happens if you swear words. What happens if you break out? I mean, that's just, if we break out, I'm going to hell already. I'll just tell you that it's not a holy thing. It's uh, <laughs> I'm just I'm airing my dirty laundry. I, there's there's dog fights here, and uh, I, I, if people put us on a pedestal and think that we're like some sort of holy rollers or something of the sort, we live a very extreme lifestyle, and so there's a, a tremendous amount of repentance here. So, <laughs> I mean, it's probably not a holy thing to do, but I don't think there's a command against saying that. Uh, well, I guess Caden's set then. All right, and wow. they put him in. <laughs> cages went under the bus. All right, and they put him in ward, what the mind of Yahuwah might be showed them, and Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe saying, "Cade, you still over there shaking your head? It's, it, it's okay. Cade, Cade said some bad words as a child, so we had to stop him from saying that. So we, we've been. It's been a work in progress. We're just we're just completely airing out our dirty laundry today. So here it is. Bring forth him that has cursed without the camp." 
and let all that heard him lay their hands upon his head and let the assembly stone him. All right, so do you think this dude who's about to get killed is going to allow people to go put their hands on this guy's I don't head? Know. If you care, Shahu, he's going to a long length here to do evil things, so probably not. Yeah, no, this dude is going to fight these guys all the way to the end. So this guy is going to have to be held down all the way to his death, right? So You're not... why they're laying hands on him. Well, but they say, it's interesting. Like, everybody, so why is everybody going out and putting their hands on this guy's head? I don't know, hold him down maybe? I don't know, how do you stone someone if you're holding you know, the head? You're not, holding down the head isn't going to hold this guy down. I mean, if you're, his body's going to stand up. You're, they're, they will physically, they would have physically had to either tie this guy up or they would have had to pin him down like a dog fight or something of a sort, you know, pin him to the ground. And uh, you got to get out of the way, right? I mean, if you have hands on this guy's head, all of a sudden, if you're going to start chucking rocks, somebody's going to get hit with a rock. So this is a very interesting story that we have here. So, anyway, they're supposed to lay hands on their head, and um, the assembly stone him. And when ye shall speak unto the children of Yashrael, saying, Whoever curses his Elohim shall bear his sin. Okay? And he that blasphemes the name of Yahuwah, he shall surely be put to death, and all the assembly shall certainly stone him, as well as the stranger, as he that is born in the land, when he blasphemes the name of Yahuwah, shall be put to death. Okay. Do we have a command? Yeah, I mean, this is a command, but... It's like, don't bring his name to not, almost. Don't bring his name to not, and, I mean, in the land, I mean, in the future, the kingdom to come, I mean, if somebody somebody just sneaks over the wall or something, or sneaks up the mountainside, and he's, like, sitting there swearing it up, uh, that would be what we would do, is we would pick up rocks and chuck them at him. And, um, but this leads us to, is this a command that we need to add into our Torah stuff? I would say, every, yeah. every, Like, literally, you would go wipe out all of Hollywood. Hollywood, California should be blown off the map. Like, there should be nothing left of it, you know, except jackals or something. It's just a horrible, horrible place. And you, you don't end up with movies without people taking our creator's name to not. And they, they, they take the son's name. I mean, they use the son's name as an explorative. It's really bad. It's really terrible. So, I'm back to this. Is this a command? Yeah. It should be a command, but we can't do anything about it right now. We can't okay, kill people for certain... But we have burned the witches in the commands. So I'd say, yeah, put this in there. Put it in there under the subcommand of bring his name, don't bring his name to not. <laughs> in parentheses, may may bring you a felony. Put it in parentheses. <laughs> you, may, you may end up in jail Several by doing life this. sentences. Okay, so yes or no? Are we adding this? I would say yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, so... Under... Don't bring his name to not. Uh, yeah, probably don't bring his name to not. Um, I mean, it'd basically be a new command. Whoever curses Elohim shall bear his sin. Um, and that sin is hands-on and is rocks to the skull. Probably not rocks to the skull if your hands are on it, man. It's just, it's going to be an odd thing, right? They probably have to tie this dude up, chuck the rocks at him. Nicole, are you adding this somewhere? Yeah, I'm trying to find it. All right, so this is a command. We're, I guess we're... So are we doing a new one, too, as well? Uh, so if somebody under... curses... So, I mean, I, I, this is a big deal. I mean, this is a big deal. This guy got hands on and he got rocks. I mean, he killed this guy. Um, yeah, I would say it's a new command. Don't, don't, uh, don't curse Elohim. I don't think this was a little kid either. This was a, like, a, I think a full grown oh, it's man obviously who obviously, obviously knew what man. he was doing. It wasn't like just a kid that said something out of, like, ignorance or something. It's like crazy that his mom was, his dad was a Mitzri. And he was uh, Yashraeli, right? So this is this is like one of these things that the mixed tribes are obviously a problem. So Nicole, are you in this one? So commandment twenty, it says, "Do not bring Yah's name to not." We have. You and shall that wouldn't not, be cursing him. You shall not take the name of Yahuwah in vain. And then we have, and you shall not swear by my name falsely. Yeah, I think this is a whole new thing. I think this is the next command, and I it's. I guess we need to preface this. You, you may end up in jail if you attempt this. I mean, I would put that under the witch as well. Uh, if you want to decide you're going to start burning the witches. This is, these are commands that we need to know and understand. But we can't execute the judgment. We can't execute righteous judgment without Yah's hand and his protection with his kingdom. We need his kingdom to come. Okay. So you're adding that in there, Nicole? Yeah. Okay. 17. And he that kills any man shall surely be put to death. All right, well, here we are again. Here we go. Because this is not what happens in today's society. You, you, you kill a person, and you end up uh, with five years of prison sentence, and you get out, and, and it's like nothing ever happened, right? And I'm sure there's guilt. I'm sure you feel bad about killing somebody. 
Um, but that's this is what Yah's light, Yah says, a life for a life, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Um, is this a command? If we added the last one, how we, how would we not add this one? Right. It should be there. Yeah. It should be. Don't kill a man. If you kill a man, you die. It, we already have do not kill, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So maybe this is under do not kill. So this would be, so Leviticus 24, 17 would be under um, what should happen if you murder somebody is, is absolutely uh, what should happen to you. Um, you can't just take an innocent life. You can't do that kind of stuff, and it's not just okay. It's just a creature. So no matter what it is. one or just put under do not kill? Do, that one I'd say would do not kill, okay. and that would be the, the, the judgments if you ended up with that. Okay, let's go to 18. And he that kills a beast shall make it good. Beast for beast. All right. What does that mean, boys? You kill your neighbor's ox or whatever, you need to repay him another ox. Yep. And uh, what happens if it's accidental? Still got to repay it. Still, you did it. You should pay it back. Yep. So, do you have that one, Nicole? That's a new one? That's a new one. Okay. And so, um, I guess, what would the command be? Re replace what you kill? Um... Replace what you... I think that's it. Yeah. Replace the animal you kill is a command. So there's that one. Next. And if a man cause a blemish in his neighbor, as he has done, so shall it be done to him. So, I mean, that's like you crack a dude over the skull or something. You split his wig and... Uh, Your wig split over him. Yeah. You, you, you mean, if that's what it, the case is. And I mean, it, it's interesting because remember the story of uh, Abraham's servant mm -hmm. that went into Sodom. Right, and they uh, the dude chucked a rock at him, and he was sitting there bleeding, and he ch he picked up a rock and chucked it at the judge and, and nailed the judge, and he was able to get out. That's such a funny story. It is a hilarious why. story. Yeah, I don't know. Anyone having more for that story? Oh um, yeah, it was just like uh, the uh, sodomites there were like, well, we hit you across the head, all the evil blood out of your head, and you're like, I'm bleeding here, man. What's oh yeah, going they on? were trying to tax him for. Clock him, and clocking so, him over the head. So they like, they like they basically like sued him, like drug him off to the court because we saved and you. And he's like he's like this guy won't pay me this X amount I'm charging him for it, and he's like I have to pay him for hitting me across the head. I just charged you just charged someone in this place when you hit someone. He goes yeah. So he picks up the rock, he's like hits the judge right across the head, bleeds. All right, pay him what I owe him. Bye, and walked <laughs> off. And I'm sure Abraham's like wow, why you have a huge gash in your skull, yeah, your man. skull is. Gashed in. It's been, All right. long, it's been a long day, Abraham. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you got that one, Nicole? Uh, yes. All right. So that's the next command is that. Um, and what would be the command, folks? Um, if you hurt someone, you're going to get hurt. Yeah. Something of that degree. What if it's accidental, though? What if you're like... It talks about accidental where it's like if you actually hit like your axe head flies off and it kills a dude. It still says if you cause a blemish to... Yeah, if your axe head fell off... And you, you know, you yeah, cracked your yeah. nose or head or something. Uh, that means that that should be done to you. Is that how it is? I don't feel. What, 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 where's the forgi Where's the forgiveness at? I think I, I don't feel like it's intentional. If it's not intentional, I don't think he would. Be I think there I think this, this is all about intentional stuff. Yeah, right? you're sitting there. You're like you're waiting sitting, the bushes. You're sitting there like I'm gonna go beat this dude up, and you like you like get you cut him open. I mean, you're jump out of the bushes with a stick and crack him, and that should be done to you, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's that's a new thing. So. Um, so what is the title of it? Uh, title of command, gentlemen. Uh, bl <laughs> blemish for blemish. Blemish for blemish. This kind of goes on as it goes down. Yeah, blemish for blemish. Let's read on in 20. Breach for breach, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. And he has caused a blemish in a man, so shall it be done to him again. And again, the teeth of one thing. Remember the teeth, if you knock the tooth out of your uh, slave, yeah. they go free. Like if you're some crazy... Uh, slave driver, slave driver, like punch knock him their in the mouth, teeth out. <laughs> and he like loses his tooth. It just sounds crazy beating up slaves and beating up people like this. Who just, does that? Why? I don't know, man. Really aggressive slave masters or something. I don't know. Um, I, I would think the people would work for honey versus beatings. Okay, so that would go under that, uh, Nicole. Um, repay injury for injury is what it would be, and nineteen and twenty would be there. Twenty-one, and he that kills a beast. He shall restore it, and he that kills a man, he shall be put to death. So that's just reiterating those last two. We need to put that under the beast one. And do not kill. And do not kill. Okay. All right, we good? Mm -hmm. All right, 22. Ye shall have one manner of law, as well for the stranger, as for one of your own country, for I am Yahuwah Elohekim. 
And Moshe spoke to the children of Yashrael that they should bring forth him that had cursed out of the camp and stone him with stones. And the children of Yashrael did as Yahuwah commanded Moshe. Now, is this the second guy? Or is this the same dude? The same the same guy. Guy. Oh, same cursed. Guy. Yeah, cursed. Uh, they brought him who cursed. The same guy. He's, he's given the laws. He's like, this is what you'll do if this happens. And now we'll go do it. Yeah, it's interesting. Excuse me. They laid their hands on this guy's head. I find that interesting because they, they do that before they kill the, the, the rams, right? Well, this dude the, wasn't like sanctified. This wasn't a sanctifying thing. No, this wasn't a sanctified it's thing. Like but a I think it's a moving thing. I think it's that everybody's in agreement that this is what they do. And, and you know, if you, if you, it's, here's the gig. If you're, if you're going to stone somebody, the guy picking up the first rock is, you know, people will follow suit, but actually like picking up the rock and doing the do it's very interesting. So I guess by putting your hand upon this guy's head, everybody's committed to, you know, whatever you're doing, don't blaspheme, don't curse, yah, whatever you do. You know, the creator of the cosmos is, uh, is, uh, is amazing. And we don't, we should be uh, messing around with it. All right, gentlemen, um, that's, that's about it. Verse 22, that should go under one command for the stranger, one law for the stranger. Oh, yeah. The, yes. Yep. Thank you, Jobs. Very nice. Okay, good. All right, and so as we air our dirty laundry with you guys, we do this stuff so that you guys understand that it doesn't matter what walk of life you guys come from. It doesn't matter where you guys come from. We come out of Babylon, right? We were not always we were not always awake. We we're not always in the Torah. In fact, my kids still have Tupac songs that from back. They don't have them now, but when they were three and four and five years old, I was jamming to. Very worldly, very evil stuff that uh, they they grew up. It wasn't until they were probably what ten, ten ish yeah, that yeah, we actually like that. got into the Torah. So before that, I was just a thug, and and you know they um, thank Yah that he w had somebody come and awaken us, and that that whole setup came down. But um, we still carry issues. I mean, we're we're straight out of Mystery Babylon. And, um, you know, Nicole and I grew up in Mystery Babylon and, and um, you know, unfortunately we could not be protected like we are able to protect our kids from all that great evil out there. But um, we are we are humans and we, we make mistakes. We do, you know, a lot of bad things. And we, you know, the, the best thing about Yah is that he gives us a sunset and we can wash and be clean. And then we you have the next day and we can strive to be better and we have to be holy. We have to get better. We have, you know, we don't like it when we break out or dogs break out and I end up swearing or doing something horrible. Um, it's not doing something horrible, but I mean, it's just, it's, it's a, it's a righteous situation in a very bad way. And so, you know, it is, uh, you know, we, we live and die the same way you guys do. And so for those out there who are just getting into this and well, I've heard from a lot of people are like, uh, oh, you know, Yah will never forgive our sins. I've done too much bad stuff. I've done, you know, there's example after example after example of people in the scriptures that they have been very wicked people and they've either come out of it or they've, they've changed their ways or they learn, right? And we all come from being Gentiles. We all come eating unclean foods and, and, you know, most of us haven't been protected like that. So our creator, you know, if you're sitting here listening to this, you've been blessed. You've been, you've been called out. And our creator is calling for you. And what I will tell you is those who are blind to the world that is going on around them are the people that our creator has blinded. He's hardened their hearts. And, you know, you could tell people that the, you know, <laughs> the earth is flat and the foundations of the earth and all this stuff. And they'll look at you and they'll just say you're crazy. Right. And the, our creator blinds those who are not ready for the truth. And your heart has to be ready for all of this stuff. And when your heart is ready for it, then you'll be opened up and you won't be tricked. Right. And that's that's the bottom line. So. Um, it's a preparation day. We're going to get going. We're, uh, we got a lot of stuff to do and I hope you guys are preparing for today. I hope you guys are blessed. Huge love to everybody out there at digital family. Um, the grand Carla, Clarissa, um, ancient rip path remnant. Who else? Allie. Got? Huh? Allie and Panada. Allie, Allie and Panada. Come on. Aunt Shayla. Shayla. Um, emissary of Elohim, Fearmonger. Um, what's Fearmonger's wife's name? Deborah. 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 Mason. Uh, who else? The Come Creole on, guys. family. Um, the Creole family, yes. Everybody out there in the Creole family. Um, we have uh, Sylvia. Uh, Sylvia. Sylvia. We have Ori Pup. Shout out. Um, uh, Sayo Raced. Sayo, Sayo Raced and her husband, the truck driver. And there's a truck driver out there that downloads this stuff. And Some old guy, I think. Yeah, some old guy was the name. And so we're not being mean. That's his nickname on there. I thought you were and, saying some old guy. Like, wow. No, <laughs> no. And so we love you all. Huge loves out there for you. Uh, if you guys have any prayer requests you guys need, please um, get them and give us a target on what needs to be prayed for so that we can direct our prayers. And we will see you guys on Shabbat.
Much love, everybody. All right. All right. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. 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 shalom.